So, the story begins with a young girl escapes from a mysterious laboratory after a violent incident that leaves many dead. The two main people who run this group were, a doctor whose name was Beck and his companion Mr. Choi, then a seven-year-old girl runs away from their group, she went to the jungle, these people look for her a lot, but they don't find her anywhere, these people think that she must have died, because the girl was injured a lot. Because how can such a small girl live with so many injuries? When the owner of the farm comes there the next morning, he sees the girl. Seeing her injured, he picks her up and brings his home, and the doctors get her treated. The doctors tell him that she is fine, her condition is not so bad, then she will come to her senses very soon. Then this scene shifts here after 10 years. Here we see a girl whose name was Jai Yoon. She was a little mischievous. She picks up a lot of bags from a shop and takes them with her, without telling the owner of the shop. She was clever and smart too. Even without a license, she used to drive a car. This girl is no one else, but the same little girl. The owner of the farm adopted her, in addition to being good in studies. She used to get her dad to work too, often, she used to study with a headache, during which she remembers her past. The past memories were so terrible, that her head used to burst. One day Jai Yoon's friend shows her a video of a singing competition, in which if someone takes part and wins, winner will be given a lot of money. Seeing this video, Jai Yoon becomes very happy, and decides to take part in this competition, so that she wins. Because she needed money, she wanted to help her family. Then she goes to give a test of this competition, where her song is heard, to check how well she sings, and she sings here, she also does a magic, she turns the mic into air, which is obviously very different, which was showing that she has supernatural powers, through which we can understand that she has something in her, which makes her different from others, now this plan of hers remains successful, her parents see that Jai Yoon has done magic there, so, they get a little worried, so, Jai Yoon forbids them from doing this. Because if she keeps doing this, then her reality will come in front of everyone, through which she will be away from her parents forever, which they don't want. The next day, Ja Yoon is going to the singing studio by train. Because she was called for the next round, then the person sitting in front of her seat, whose name was Nobleman, tries to talk to her, says that I know you, and then by signing a slap, he tries to remind her of her past, and says that the incident that happened to you 10 years ago, I was also a part of it. But Ja Yoon still doesn't remember anything, after which nobleman gets up from there, and goes to the other compartment of the train, yes, then he collides with a man, he was so angry that he attacked that man, he beats him so much that he dies, and then he picks him up and throws him out of the screaming train, now by seeing this scene, we understand that he is not straight, in fact, there is a dangerous form hidden behind his innocent face, then Ja Yoon reaches the studio, she wins this round as well, and takes Ja Yoon for the next round. When she was coming running happily, then she starts getting sick, her nose and mouth start bleeding, and with this, she starts having headaches again. When she comes out of the washroom a little normal, her friend takes her out on the road, she was also waiting for the car to come. Then two black cars come in front of her, Dr. Beck's partner comes out of a car, who asks Jai Yoon to give a lift, and his real purpose was to kidnap her, but then one taxi comes, then Jai Yoon and her friend ignore those two, and go and sit in taxi. When Ja Yoon came on TV, then she became famous in the whole country, her singing video, Dr. Bex and her partner also sees her singing video, then she understood, that this is the same little girl, who ran away from their captivity 10 years ago, now we see Ja Yoon at the bus stand, who is waiting for the bus to come, yes, just now the nobleman's car comes and stops near her, he also talks about giving her a lift, but when she refuses, then the nobleman says, just think about your family. If you don't agree, then their life can also be in danger. Hearing this, she was very nervous. She immediately starts running for her house. When she reaches home and sees her parents safe and sound, then her life comes to life. On the same night, when her whole family was sleeping, then Ja Yoon starts crying holding her head. Her friend was also at her house. Then she starts going to the washroom. Now Ja Yoon starts hearing someone's voice from outside. She gets up nervously. As soon as she comes out, then a man puts a gun on her and a man had a knife on her friend's neck, then there a leader comes in front of them, who was Dr. Beck's companion and he came to kidnap Ja Yoon, they were telling her to come with them, that's when Ja Yoon starts having a headache again, but when a man forcibly tries to take her away from there, then Ja Yoon becomes very angry, she hits that man hard, and she snatches the gun from him and kills the rest of the people, now she couldn't believe herself, that despite being normal, how did I do this, that's when the nobleman and his companions come here, they tell her, I told you, that I know you. 
You are not normal like humans. In fact, you hurt everyone. This is the reason that I and those people were after you. If you come with me, then it's good for you. Your memory will also come back. Ja Yoon agrees to come with them. They bring her in a car to a research lab, where she meets Dr. Beck. Dr. Beck looks at Ja Yoon and gets very happy, and says that I thought you were dead. But when you came on TV and did that magic, then I believe that you are the same, and my courage that was over, came back again. She still couldn't remember anything, and her nose and mouth start bleeding again. Dr. Beck who was sitting in the other room and talking to her, starts laughing, and tells her doctor to give her that injection. Then he does the same, and gives her that injection. Here Dr. Beck tells her, that you are actually a witch in human form, a witch, and now you will remember everything, you will also know about your past, and about your powers, about these supernatural powers, but yes, we will not give you this injection every day, so that's why your nose and mouth will keep bleeding, don't worry about it, now Dr. Beck's intention was, that she should apply the injection and use it for herself, but now the story takes a very different turn here, Ja Yoon suddenly starts smiling, and says, what do you think? You brought me here. You are wrong. Because I wanted to come here. So that you can apply this injection to me. Because this increased my life by a few more years, although due to a disease, I had to die after a few days. But thank you. You made my job easy. After which she gets up with a very dangerous look. And with her powers, she kills all the doctors present there. After which she comes out, and starts killing everyone in this lab. Now here I will tell you. How are these powers in Jai Yoon? Because actually, she is a witch, that's why she ran away from her cage at such a young age, because she had supernatural powers since childhood, and she killed all the people in Dr. Beck's lab and ran away from there, in the whole film, she was just doing the drama, actually, she remembered everything that happened to her, and she didn't take part in the singing competition, because her family needed money, in fact, she took it, so that she could reach Dr. Beck, and all this was her plan, her magic, meeting the nobleman, kidnapping, everything was in it. According to the plan, she comes here and kills everyone. To take her revenge, she then shoots Dr. Beck's leg, and says, how did you think, I forgot you, and how can I forget that day, when you gave me pain, in which I used to suffer every day, she shoots her again. That's when the nobleman comes here, who points a gun at Ja Yoon. Now nobleman was also a kid like Ja Yoon, whom Dr. Beck had kidnapped. But he didn't have powers like Ja Yoon. This was the reason that he used to get jealous of Ja Yoon, he was after her, that's when Dr. Beck's companion comes to Ja Yoon, and she remembers about Dr. Beck's and her companion madness, that how merciless he was, that night he did a lot of harm to me, before he could attack her, Ja Yoon catches him, and beats him very badly, she twists his body a lot, breaks his bones, which eventually leads to his death, now only two people are left, Ja Yoon and Nobleman, where they also have a very strong fight, both were attacking each other, but Ja Yoon finally kills him, while dying she asks Nobleman, about the main office, where she can go and find a cure for her illness, when he tells her, Ja Yoon kills him, then she goes to the hospital to her parents, because her mother was very sick, now Ja Yoon's dad tells her another truth, that when I was injured that day, I came to know that you were a witch, because as soon as you came there, a lot of animals on the farm died, although I wanted to send you away, but on your mom's request, we kept you and raised you like our children, saying this he becomes sad, Ja Yoon also became emotional, then she says that dad for now I am going from here, but yes, I promise you, that I will definitely come back and meet you, after that she reached the main office, who is running this place, she is a lookalike of Dr. Beck, she was at Wins, she was scared of Ja Yoon's destruction, so that's why she gives her the vaccine, which will cure Ja Yoon's illness, and she will also be saved from dying, now one more girl comes, she starts attacking Ja Yoon, on which she tells her, that if you touch me, then I will blow your head off, the movie ends here, now part 2 start with showing a small girl, who was looking like Ja Yoon, and was covered in blood, she was standing in an unknown place, here we see a lot of dead animals, which was killed not by anyone but by this girl, so here we understand that she is also a witch, and she also has supernatural powers, everyone knows this girl by the name of Ark One, here Ark One starts hearing her mom voice, which was calling her, she was also standing there, that a dog comes and suddenly attacks her, after which this scene gets cut here, and we see the story of some time ago, where we see two schoolgirls in a bus, the girl with a headphone tells her friend, that I am pregnant, that means I am going to be a mother, but yes, you don't tell this to anyone, keep it a secret, the driver turns the bus on an unknown road, 
Then some people wearing masks and came inside the bus, they put poisonous gas everywhere, by which that pregnant girl and everyone falls unconscious, people wearing masks pick up that girl and take her with them, and when she regains consciousness, she finds herself in front of Dr. Beck, here in the news, it was being told about this girl's bus, that this bus has fallen into a ravine, because of which all the people in it have died, seeing this that girl is very sad, she then asks Dr. Beck, that why am I here after all? and I am going to be a mother, so please let me go from here, as Dr. Beck tells her, that yes, I know. You are going to be a mother, and not just one. Two children, that means twin children, and those children we will use them for our experiment, so that we can duplicate more clones like them, which that girl doesn't understand at all, after which this story shifts again in the present time, here we see some mutants, who were very powerful, because they were made mutants by changing humans. All these mutants go to Dr. Beck's lab and kill everyone there, because this was their mission, after they leave, we see a girl there, who was covered in blood, but surprisingly she was still alive and was able to walk easily, as soon as she comes out, she has a severe headache, her powers increase so much, that we can see everything around her flying in the air, she could hear her mother's voice, who was calling her to herself, her mom is in an unknown chamber, from which we can understand that this girl is none other than Arquan, at that time, she was a child. But today in the present time she has grown up. Now Ark 1 was walking and came on the road. Although the car is very fast, it passes very close to her. But she is not scared of it at all. That's why the car stops ahead. That car comes back again. And stops near Ark 1. There were a lot of people in the car, who all looked like goons. The boss of the goons asks about it to Ark 1. But she doesn't answer. He then kidnaps Ark 1. And makes her sit in his car. Because those people were kidnapping a girl who was a landowner, and were taking her with them. And the boss of the goons believed that if Ark-1 sees our car, then it can become a problem for us. Those goons trouble Ark-1 and start hitting that woman. Because of which Ark-1 gets so angry, that she has to use her powers here. She suddenly starts feeling very bad. She was throwing them out of the car one by one, some from the front window, some from the door, and some from the back side. When their car has an accident and all the goons are killed, except the boss of the goons, that girl, and Ark-1, she was saved, then when Ark-1 goes ahead to kill the boss of the goons, then the owner of the land stops her from doing this, so, she doesn't kill him. She leaves him, here we know, that the boss of the goons was taking the landowner with him, because he wanted to buy her land, but the landowner didn't want to sell, so, the boss of the goons was taking her, so that he can kills her, then the landowner calls her uncle, so that he comes here and takes her with him, then when her uncle comes here, Ark, one starts feeling something, she was feeling bad, she was bleeding from her nose and mouth, with which she becomes unconscious, because of this the landowner puts Ark 1 in the car and takes her with them, then we see, that her uncle is a doctor, he takes out all the bullets from Ark 1's body, but we are surprised to see that all her wounds are healing on their own, her uncle thinks that maybe I am under the influence of alcohol, so that's why I am seeing this this is just my delusion, then we see a soldier girl, her name is Yunjo, Yunjo was bleeding and around her there is a lot of dead bodies, because she entered a research lab, and killed a lot of mutants, here with Yunjo. She had a companion, we can understand from their talks, that they both work for Dr. Beck, they killed a lot of mutants on Dr. Beck's orders, we see this Yunjo, who was taking out the bullets from her body, her body suddenly changes with which we understand that she herself is a superhuman, her companion was also a superhuman, because of this all her wounds were healing on their own. She goes to meet Dr. Beck. Dr. Beck orders her to somehow find Ark 1 and kill her, because she has run away and she is a very dangerous. Then Dr. Beck gives a device to Yunjo, with the help of which she will find Ark 1, because they have a chip in Ark 1's body, so that they can track and find her. Yunjo and her companion who is going from there, they feel as if someone is following them. Then Yunjo's companion stops the car and starts fighting with them. They throw their car's door at him, and he very easily just stops it with his own hands. They climbing on the tree and was hitting him and the tree was breaking. Yunjo tells her companion that this must be her old boss, the leader of the mutants, for whom I used to work 10 years ago. So that's why she herself goes to meet the leader of the mutants. She tells the leader of the mutants that now you leave us, I have come here for some other purpose. The landowner brings Ark 1 to her house, where she meets her brother too. After eating, Ark 1 when she goes to her room to sleep, then suddenly she gets a sharp headache, her nose and mouth started bleeding outside. The boss of the goons comes with his companions once again came to threaten the landowner. Here he hits the owner of the land and her brother. This thing, Ark-1 had also seen. 
Then she gets very angry. She comes out and she beat everyone one by one. She was just picking them up and throwing them away. Seeing this the goon's boss gets so scared that he runs away from there. Then the next day. To meet the goon's boss the group of mutants comes, who asks him about Arqua, on which, he says, we'll tell you about it but you make me like you, that is mutant. Then those mutants agree to him, the leader of the mutants, gives him a serum, the owner of a land was going home after meeting with her uncle, then Yun Jo and her companion comes to meet her, they tell her, that the girl whom you have kept the Arqua, is not a person but a mutant, a witch. She threatens the landowner to give her back to us, otherwise, we will kill your brother. To save her brother life she agrees with soldier girl, as per the plan Yun Jo had told her, take your brother as soon as night falls, after which, we will come to your house and catch Ark 1. But when she reaches home, she changes her mind, she signals to Ark 1 to go from there, then, the goon's boss comes here, who shoots the landowner, her brother shows the way to run from here to Ark 1 and goes back to save his sister, the landowner didn't listen to Yun Jo. That's why she got angry, Yunjo's tactical forces fire a bazooka on the roof, so that the Ark-1 is killed by this missile attack, but she had already left from there, as soon as the goon's boss is about to kill landowner's brother, then here Yunjo and her companion come and save him, leader of the mutant group killed all the goons with her power except goon's boss, Yunjo's companion and the mutant gang starts fighting, on one side, Yunjo fights with the mutant's leader, but the mutant's group was gaining weight on both of them. Leader of the mutant group beat soldier girl and her companion a lot, and she was injured a lot her condition made her feel that she will die, Ark 1 who is also conscious from the missile, she regains consciousness and she killed one of the mutants. She comes back, because everything around was flying in the air and in a snap, she kills mutants very easily. The mutants lead her now quietly as soon as, the one who was about to run away, Jiayun comes there. Actually, this group of mutants hired by Jiayun to release Ark-1, but they went above their instructions and tried to kill Ark-1. Jiayun tells the mutant that you have become the enemy of her life, saying that she kills her with a knife, she now reveals the secret that I am looking for Ark-1, because she is my sister and that she has been monitoring her since her escape, Jiayun says she needs her to find their mother, as she has a stronger psychic bond with the girl, Ark-1 doesn't respond, focusing her attention on the loss of landowner and her brother, Jiayun injects her sister with a tranquilizer and puts her in the car, driving away from the scene together, at the end of the film, Beck senses the danger the sisters now have together before being shown their mother inside a huge aquarium with wires connected to it. The woman opens her eyes and the screen goes dark. Both the parts of this story and here. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.